Good morning everyone! My name is Dawn and today I'm here to share with you yet another fun art video. Um, I, I'm gonna share every Friday fun Friday freebies so join along but for today it's a special episode special treat because it's not a Friday it's actually a Sunday and I'm recording this from my little year to you um, so that you can do more craft at home with mom and dad. <laughs> anyway today it's gonna be a extra um funny little lesson because today i'm gonna show you how to do a funny finger family drawing yep funny finger family drawing it's a it's a mouthful anyway let's get started um these are some of the materials that you need so you need markers i've got a fat marker and a skinny marker and oh and they need to be permanent marker so um, when you draw and when water touches the ink, the ink will not run. So permanent markers, two of it, one, one thinner one and one um, fatter one. A good brush. Now, if you're making art and if you're going to be painting a lot, it's very important to get a really good brush because a terrible brush is not going to be fun to paint at all with. So a good brush. Da -da -da -da. Um, some ta uh, toilet paper. I know it's expensive at the moment, but it's okay. Um, but yep, some toilet paper or some tissue paper or some paper towel even or tea towels that you can reuse. Um, you basically need this for drying your brush a little bit. A jar of water for washing your brush in. And paints. I've got cool. I've got warm colors here and cool colors here. And of course, paper. Now choose a good thick piece of paper and you can start. So first thing first, I'm going to use the fat marker. I'm going to put my hand in the middle of the paper and I am going to trace around my hand. If you are really, really young, mommy and daddy might like to help you with that just so you don't get marker bits on your finger. Or on your hands. What I like to do when I trace is to trace it a little bit bigger than my hand actually is and I can make it longer or a little bit chubbier just like chorizo sausages. <laughs> there you go my big giant hand on the paper. See how it's a little bit bigger. So yep once that is done I'm gonna turn this huge hand into a very interesting family I'm gonna add faces to each of this, uh, each of the fingers over here. You can now. This is where you can get all creative, and you can get um a bit strange and do whatever you want. You can pretty much draw any family amount and any amount of family members. Or if you only have like you, mom, and dad, you can draw your, your an imaginary cat, an imaginary teddy. So yeah, I'm gonna start by drawing, maybe. A very funny mummy with a very funny curly hair. Almost like broccoli. Mm. So what you can do is basically just go to town and draw with your skinny marker. You can give mummy some clothes. I'm gonna give mummy nice buttons with smiley faces actually. And sun and clouds on her shirt and mommy can wear a dress or a skirt because I like wearing skirts <laughs> all right and if you well and I can move on to the next one I'm gonna draw daddy now I'm gonna give daddy some hair da -da -da -da. you know what I'm gonna draw daddy with eyes closed because he's still sleeping he wants to be in bed a little bit longer. <laughs> but daddy's a little bit hungry while he's sleeping. So I'm going to draw him with his tongue out. And him holding some pancakes that he's dreaming of. Ooh, with some butter on top. So as you can tell, you can draw anything really. Maybe daddy's not going to have any shirt on. He's just going to have boxes because he's sleeping in bed. And I'm going to do polka dot boxes. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw me. Now 
I'm wearing a sparkly headband, so I'm going to add some patterns. And I've got long hair. And I've got a big smile. And I'm going to be holding a paintbrush. Because I'm going to be doing some painting. So, um, and maybe I'll draw a funny, or rather a fun flower top. With lots of flowers. So you, you can basically just keep going and adding more and more. Filling up all your fingers. I'm going to draw an imaginary cat on this side. With whiskers. Do, 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 do. Mm, I'm going to draw stripes. Maybe it's a fat tabby cat. And a big curly tail. <laughs> stripes on the tail as well. And maybe the last one, I can draw a another cat. Because today, I'm feeling like I'm a crazy cat lady. So I'm going to draw another cat. But maybe this cat can be a cool cat. With sunglasses. <laughs> And a lightning bolt for its hair. Mm. So your ideas can be as crazy as you want. And you can basically just fill up all these little fingers. And then move down and fill up the space all around it. You're going to just draw within your entire giant hand. You're going to fill it all up. And because we are short on time, I've done a speed up version. Ta -ta -da! Now it's a little bit different. I hope you can see. But I've drawn like different family members and you can basically just keep filling it up um like all these little space if you don't know what to fill it up with you can fill it up with anything really whatever comes to your mind just draw it down like for me i've run out of ideas of what to draw in the middle here and i don't know what else to put so maybe i can even put numbers today i'm thinking of a number eight and i can draw number eight all around a few different number eights i can draw my name du, du, du. i can even do it in funny bubble writing or i can do it in block writing or rather block drawing i can do it in squiggle squiggly jelly like drawings i can even fill up the space with polka dots, with stripes. If you are young and this is really hard for you, you can do very, very simple stuff like simply just tracing over and over and over the same around your hand over and over again. So for example, if you're super, super young and this is very hard to fill it up and draw, you can do as simple as this. See? Just draw up and down and up and down around your hand and repeat na, na, na. or you can even divide it up draw some lines and fill up this space with a pattern or you can even get a little bit creative and draw little X's plus signs minus signs divide signs <laughs> you can draw anything you want so the idea is to fill up the entire hand with as many different things you can think of until it's all filled up you can even do squiggly bits like that see i'm not sure if you guys can see but you can even do things like that to fill up the space not so much because if not your hand looks like it's really hairy but you can draw that if you can even draw a watch across if you want so once you're done with your giant funny hand, you're gonna then paint it with your paints. Now today I'm using some special watercolors or poster colors. Um, when you paint, all you need to do is remember you've got your pot of water, you've got um paper towel. I'm not sure if you guys can see. It. I'm gonna zoom out. <laughs> there you go. And put the markers away because you don't need it. So yeah, very very simple. Wet Mr. Brush a little bit. And you can start. So you can choose to paint any colors you want. And I'm going to just show you super quickly. So I, I like to use these paints. I um, I have these paints available in my online store. I can show you later. But wet Mr. Brush, 
twirl it a few times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just eight times or sometimes even five times. And you pretty much just paint oh, too much water. If it's too much water on your brush, just simply dry it on your towel. And you can spread it around. So yeah, the idea is to just paint up the entire picture. You can use some green. I'm going to just keep going and paint, but I'm not going to finish up the whole picture because if not, I'll be here till, I don't know, next year maybe. <gasps> you wouldn't definitely want to sit on the chair watching me paint for an entire year because if not, you know what happens? Your bum bum is going to hurt. <laughs> You're going to get a sore bum. So you can paint any colours you want. You don't have to use just, you know, like skin colour for the skin. In fact, I'm using bright pink for the face because I'm feeling like some pink. So yeah, make it as colourful as you can. Fill up the entire picture. Do, 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 do. And basically, just keep going and going and going. You don't have to actually fill up the whole picture in one go. You can do a little bit of it during uh, after breakfast and then go have your lunch go have some outside play and then come back and do some more and work on this piece over and over again progressively throughout the day but yeah fill up the whole thing and to finish off the piece you can use one color i like to use a dark color so that there's contrast mommy and daddy maybe you can explain what contrast means to your children at this um at this point of the video you can pause and explain to them but in short contrast means something totally opposite, something very different, so that this thing that you've painted, this giant hand, stands out. So I like to use a bright, uh, not bright, a dark colour. Just one single colour and paint up the entire outside bit, the background. Does this make sense, everyone? So yeah, just keep going and going and going and going until you finish up the entire piece. Very important that you make sure you cover up all the white bits on your paper, yeah? This way, your artwork looks like it's complete. Because no artist out there leaves white bits of paper unpainted. Mm, not very professional. So yeah, you gotta paint it all, okay? So paint, 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 paint. So yeah, basically you just keep going and... Ta-da! At the end of it, you have a finished art piece. Sorry, this is not finished because I don't actually know how to speed up the video. <laughs> I'm doing this in one take. So yeah, the idea is there. You guys know what to do next. So have fun and you can start. Um, For those of you who are looking for art materials, I certainly do have them available from my online store. I've got things like a paper pack filled with 10 different sheets of... um large painting paper exactly like the ones i've used i've also got small paper in there and two brown pieces of paper they're all thick paper so that when you paint it doesn't tear i've also got things like paint sets so the ones i've been using they've been well i've been using them for many years with the children in my yard as well as the children that i teach outside of my yard so i bring them around every time i do a class outside so these paints have lasted a very very long time um if you're after paints, I do have them as well in cool and warm colour sets like that. Cool colour sets. Or oh, very fancy fluoro. <laughs> so you can have these as well. Things like markers. If you're looking for the right kind of markers, I also have this on my online shop. So to make it simple for you guys, I just have all the art materials available. You can just click, purchase, download. Not download, sorry. What am I talking? about if only the materials could be sent straight to you but the idea is you can buy it and i can post it up to you and as a special treat i have all these um beautiful colored markers as well which you can use for this activity to color in instead of paint you can also use color pencils up to you so yeah the ideas are there um i hope you've had fun watching this quick and easy video of how to make a funny finger family and yeah if you make a drawing out of this um, video share online tag me on instagram handmade love i would love to see all your creations see you every friday here with me um next week's friday video will be fun sushi collage see you guys bye